Hello everyone, this is Troy. Today we're talking about Minecraft. Just showing you some of the new things in our multiplayer world, me and Tech Dolphin. Um, here is his Ode to Darwinia. I'm not sure what a Darwinia is, but he tells me this is a good likeness, so I'll have to take his word for it. And my friend here is working on his house. He's done, oh, he's done even more work since the last time I was here to visit. He started out with a little cabin in the woods and proceeded to build a huge uh, brick structure. He's put down some carpet since I've been here. He's making him some rooms. And he's working on a sandstone roof for some reason. But he's put a lot of work into this. And uh, I'm really impressed by it. Okay, let's go out here and see what our friend Tech Dolphin has been building around his house. Oh, we've got some new trees, I see. And we come up to clearing and we see his house is gone. Well, yes, looks like he has completely tore down his house. Hello, zombie feathers. Hmm. Well, this would, want, this would be what he meant the other day when he said uh, that brick was hellishly hard to mine. I guess he decided to clear this out and start somewhere else. Let's go see what he's done. Actually, he has built himself a new house up here next to, uh, next to mine, not too far away from my apartments. He has built him a multi-level structure into the mountainside. He has himself a nice uh, wooden porch. Step into a nice little open living room. And we go downstairs to the storage rooms. But if you go upstairs... Oops. I prefer ladders over stairs myself. You have his has the master bedroom with the uh, lovely view of my apartments and the new rail line, which goes nowhere and does nothing, as we say in the south. I don't like the bed because there's enough darkness in here at night that I keep getting attacked every time I try to sleep over. Up here we have, I think, the second bedroom, which is not furnished. Nice little view. And the stairs up to the attic. Whereupon you can see the whole island. You can see Spawn over there. You can see the uh, Darwinia statue. You can see over to my apartments and my mobs uh, grinder thing, which is currently shut off. In fact, let's go over there now and check that out. One of the improvements we've made here is our little minecart station. Actually, this here is a temporary test bed, so to speak. Put a minecart here, hop in, then you push the little button here. Powers that mine uh, cart booster and brings you out over here. And just put the mine card away when you're finished. Doop. As you can see, I still have my mountain apartments going up, the lava on either side. I've made the front uh, door even less uh, welcoming now that we've added 
scary jack-o'-lanterns, um, cactuses and burning netherrack. Uh, you can tell I don't like visitors. Now here in the middle of my floor you might see a pile of cactus and an egg and a sign that says stand here for a big heap of mob droppings. That's because the good old fashioned mob elevator takes things up to the top. In fact, let's skip up to the top real quick to uh, show you a little of that. Now, previously, you'll remember they came out of the uh, mob elevator here, they washed over here and then were washed over the edge to fall on my front doorstep but that got a little uh, little too troublesome at times so instead we added uh, water currents going uh, over this way with a uh, set of iron doors which open up and bring them over here and wash them into lava and if I hadn't shut down the, the mob system for maintenance uh, I'd show you that but Trust me, it's really, really cool. I've also added uh, some extra water channels to wash more uh, sheep and cows and pigs and whatnot into the thing. Let's go down a few floors. Here you see my giant cactus farm. That actually goes back uh, about 20 spaces. Uh, the cactuses uh, grow until they hit uh, things hanging down from the roof, uh, washes the cactus into the water currents, and on downstairs into the next level. And you may say, what is this for? Well, upstairs I've left uh, area for chickens to fall through the lava and not get burnt. They uh, fall down here and then they wash around. Oh, there's a cactus falling wash around and if you leave them undisturbed for a few minutes start laying eggs and then the eggs and cactuses fall down here along with any uh, anything that fell from the mobs getting burnt in the lava and um, so I've gathered many many eggs and I've gathered many many arrows many many bones many many gunpowder many many feathers fewer leather not many cows up there and little string and of course entirely too much cactus in fact I'll be pruning back my cactus farm pretty soon let's go downstairs to see what the uh, bottom of the mob elevator looks like All right, down here we have my mob spawning area which is currently all lit up. Ouch. The cactuses are because the spiders like to crawl around here and they were always right outside the door so I figured if they're already right outside the door anyway why not kill them there. But um, as you can see the water currents will pull you right up into here whereupon you start uh, climbing to the top. Yeah, get out of here real quick. There we go. Uh, I've shut this all down because I'm going to try a different design, and it was entirely too dangerous to be out here at night, or excuse me, out here in the dark. Because you no know, sooner you get out here, say so I'll make a tiny, tiny little change here. I'll replace this with water, and before you did, a skeleton would shoot in the back, knock in the water, and then a creeper would come by and blow up. And then when you respawn and come down, you'd find that uh, creepers have blown out most of this here. If you want to hear from your friends and family more often, start recording a video. It's because as soon as you do, everybody you know will call or drop by or need something. Um, anyway, as I was saying, we have uh, multiple pads with little water currents designed to bring anything that spawns over into the area here let me close this up 
this area here where of course they immediately try to swim up swim through my little viewport and come out here in the dark but as soon as they come out the taller mobs are automatically washed over here uh, until the beta 1.5 they would continue on and get caught now the beta 1.5 they'll stick right here until the next one bounces them over uh, let's see if I can get back in here yes you may notice here we have a little hole uh, spiders get knocked sideways and knocked straight over the lava you can see mobs get washed here and pass the signs. Hello, piggy. Let me wash back here a little. Yes. And the pig, poor little piggy. I'm sorry. So sorry. And his delicious pork chops get dropped in there. As well as, oh no, zombie. Okay, I'm going to take some damage here. But luckily, I fell through. So here we are in the. Uh, collection area as you can see things are dying up above us uh, but the chickens they hang out here and leave them alone long enough they drop an egg which falls down here as I said cactus is also right here And that's my mob thing, and I'm showing it to you because I'm about to change it. And it'll probably never work right again, so I just want it on record that it does work. Alright, this is Troy Cheeks, signing off.